Gustafson from Art and Bicycles. Uh, I started racing BMX when I was really young. Um, I went through a stint of injuries when I was 18. Uh, I found mountain biking then, uh, working at a bike shop in Waite Park, Minnesota. I think the biggest difference between mountain biking and just about any other type of riding um, is the places it takes you. Um, not that a road bike can't take you anywhere uh, or that it's not uh, beautiful in itself, but uh, mountain biking takes you out into the middle of the woods um, to the tops of mountains um, that most people, I guess, don't uh, normally see. Trail system construction started in June, uh, June 3rd, I believe, um, and they're still continuing to work on the trails now. There are approximately 21 miles of rideable trail right now as we speak. Currently in the Tioga Rec area, there are everything from green trails uh, that are three feet, four feet wide, uh, low undulation, uh, wide open corners and sight lines, to double black diamond, advanced um, jump lines, um, for very experienced riders only. I think what really makes Tioga um, unique and interesting is the different difficulty levels um, for the trails, the trail experiences. Um, you can um, gain a lot of elevation in a uh, few miles, unlike most mountain bike trails and the uh, systems in the area. Uh, most of the trails and the trail systems in Minnesota are short, punchy climbs. Uh, here you can gain a lot of elevation pretty quickly um, not and, and longer sustained climbs. A lot of lake views um, also make Tioga Rec area unique. Uh, lake Pakegama, uh, the Tioga Mine Lake itself, Lake Kavanaugh. By the end of next summer, there, we're hoping to have around 30 miles of trail in the Tioga Rec area alone, uh, as well as the seven miles in the Legion Trail system behind the Grand Rapids High School. I believe that most uh, visitors coming to the Grand Rapids area to ride the Tioga Trail System are going to find uh, a real mountain bike experience here. Um, it's real similar to what you'll find in most uh, mountain bike destination areas. There's breweries popping up, there's good food options, uh, housing options are really good. Beautiful scenery year round, whether it's spring, summer, fall, winter. Uh, as well as, as many other things that uh, you can do. You can spend a week up here easy.